Hello, dear friends, dear brothers, sisters, and fellow uh, spiritual aspirants on the uh, path of uh, spirituality. Uh, welcome uh, to uh, another episode in our special series uh, that will assist us to realize our true nature of uh, uh, self or our true uh, nature of uh, absolute changeless happiness. So uh, uh, the title that we have given uh, to this episode is Seer, Seen and Sight. So just an overview, uh, you see uh, in this uh, particular uh, video, we will try and get an understanding that uh, as long as we live as an image, you see, we are actually all images. As long as we live as an image in our uh, space-time manifestation, you see how actually we function by utilizing this uh, principle of uh, seer, seen and sight and then by connecting to this uh, uh, universal principle of this uh, space-time manifestation, how can we actually realize our changeless uh, uh, nature of absolute happiness? So, uh, I will uh, draw your attention to figure one. You see, this figure uh, represents our higher nature and our lower nature. So, when you look at your aura, you see, what you consist of is not just this uh, uh, physical body. Looking at this diagram, uh, you know, when you stretch your hands, and coming inwards, uh, you see, first of all, right on the outer periphery, as you see, uh, you know, this uh, light uh, uh, line, a uh, little bit dark line, which is there next to the blue color, that actually is your body of spirit or that through which comes the divine will, right? Then, as we come inside, the next is your body of intuition, right? Uh, the ancient uh, Hindu sages had called it the Bodhic body, right? Uh, but we will use the term the body of uh, intuition. A and that basically is made up of the material of uh, intuition, right? Now, this is our higher nature, right? Uh, you have to understand that this is your higher, changeless nature. And then as we come further closer to the physical form, after the Bodhic body starts our lower nature. What does the lower nature consist of? You know, it is made up of, of the mental body, which is the body of thoughts. Then there is the astral body or the body of feelings right and then last of all is the physical body so what does our uh, lower nature uh, constitute of you see the lower nature consists of our thoughts feelings and physical activity so that is uh, corresponding to the mental body the astral body and the physical body so, uh, uh, still looking at uh, figure one, you see, we have to really understand uh, that uh, how our higher and lower nature or our higher and lower bodies or our changeless nature and the changing nat nature are interconnected. Uh, you see, Wherever you are sitting, you know, you take an object in front of you, right? So not only 
uh, can you select the object in front of you or to make it even more simple wherever you are sitting you see you see multiple objects around you right what i mean by multiple objects around you is that there is a view you see there is a view appearing right now since your childhood until now the view always appears isn't it but uh, in this view, we always select only certain things which we like and we disregard those that we do not like, right? So, so look at it. How is this view actually appearing? You see, uh, the view, uh, you know, as it appears, it doesn't require any activity of our lower nature. The view just consciously, just out of the blue, just intuitively it is always there in front of us think about it you see this is the reality the changeless reality present in all its beauty in front of us you see what happens is that uh, the divine will from your body of spirit acts on the divine intuition uh, from your body of intuition right divine will acting on the divine intuition uh, you know through your higher nature uh, you see works through you and that is how you see intuitively spotlessly you see all the time uh, the view is always apparent right this is how we come in connection or come in contact with our higher nature but then you see, we are an image in our lower nature, right? Because what we are more familiar with, we are familiar with our thoughts coming from the mental body, with our feelings coming from the body of feelings or the body of desires or the astral body. And then we are familiar with this physical activity. This is all our lower nature. But one thing you must actually realize, and it is very important, you know, I would like to add this uh, at this uh, point of our discussion. You see, until the right thought flows into your mind, and then with that thought is connected, uh, you know, a loving feeling. You see, until then it is not really converted into a physical activity that you undertake from your heart you know just like making this uh, video it's just flowing from the heart it's just flowing uh, you know it's just this unconditional love for everyone uh, that uh, uh, you see pushes me what i pursue you know in making uh, uh, such videos so the point that I am making is that you see uh, this is basically how we function an idea comes into us you see which is a thought then there is a feeling which arises with that idea and then we implement it into a physical activity whether it is cooking or going to work uh, you know or going to the gym uh, you know having your lunch or dinner or talking to a friend the examples are endless but this is how we function but you know from your own experiences that unless you see your thoughts your feelings and your physical activity is not in balance you see the experience the essence of the experience that you gain from such an action does not become yours and that is why this becomes very important in our spiritual journey that we must be mentally thought wise uh, astrally feeling wise or emotion wise and physically acti activity wise all three must be in perfect harmony in perfect correspondence uh, you see in perfect unison in perfect balance then only you see when you listen to these type of uh, uh, spiritual discussions and when you actually practically experience them in this way do you really gain anything or make something out of what is actually being discussed all right uh, uh, moving uh, further uh, with our uh, spiritual discussion uh, 
uh, dear friends uh, let us now look at uh, figure 2 all of you are actually familiar uh, with this figure what does this actually show you see this shows uh, the uh, experience that each one of us has everyone who is present as a human being on earth has uh, which is awake dream and sleep look at it you see what happens uh, say it is early morning and you wake up right now when you wake up early in the morning the first thing which comes to you is this body consciousness right and then what happens uh, you see uh, you go through all the uh, experiences of the awake state right so uh, you know the day passes on you get up you get ready uh, you know you have your breakfast then uh, you see you may go to work or you know uh, whatever your profession is if you're a housewife you are busy with housework all the day and so the whole day passes in physical activity of the awake state and then say it is about uh, 9 30 uh, 10 o'clock in the uh, night time right say it is 9 30 p.m so what happens now now slowly you see because you are tired you go into a transition you lie down on your bed and slowly your eyes roll uh, your five senses sort of stop becoming active there is no more logical thinking logical feeling logical activity of the awake state and you have gone into a, a semi slumber state what we call as this uh, second state where the green arrow is pointing which is the dream state now you are actually dreaming you are living in a world of your own right and then actually what happens after some time is you fall into deep sleep where there is no activity either of the awake state or of the dream state and so you're in deep sleep right and then after being in deep sleep for some time then you wake up again you know your body consciousness returns you know who you are and so the the day activity uh, continues so uh, we can uh, look upon this uh, uh, explanation which has been symbolically very beautifully explained uh, by a sage called uh, Mandukya you know about uh, four and a half thousand years uh, before uh, uh, Christ so you see look at this uh, figure three you see what is this figure three representing this figure three represents the symbol of Om right uh, you are all familiar with this famous uh, uh, Hindu symbol of Om uh, in English uh, you see it's written as O M but then when we break it down it is A U and M so look at it look at the purple arrow going down A is the awake state then U is the dream state and then M is the state of deep sleep right so again in the awake state you see there is an identity uh, say you are called Tom so there is this Tom of the awake state right and then as we have discussed when the awake state has passed you transition into a totally different state which is the dream state right so this uh, uh, dream state a new entity has come up now it is this Tom of this dream state right and then what happens then you transition into M, the last, uh, uh, you see, uh, alphabet in that OM, A-U-M, OM. So when you transition into M or into deep sleep, both A and U, you see, uh, the one who was awake, the tom of the awake state, and the one who was dreaming, the tom of the uh, dream state, both have actually gone. And then we go into deep sleep and then we wake up again 
So uh, this is uh, extremely beautiful. And then you see when you transition awake, dream and sleep state, then you transition into your higher nature. You realize who you really are. You see, you actually attain to what we call as Turiya or the state of absolute happiness. But look at one thing. You see, coming back to the uh, title uh, of our uh, uh, you know uh, topic which was seer seen and sight this is basically how we are actually functioning you see when you wake up in the morning let us look at the awake state what happens you see you wake up so who has woken up say uh, uh, i'll use uh, 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 you know, a random name, uh, say Sapnaji. You see, Sapnaji uh, is the uh, is a female name. So Sapnaji has or Sapna has woken up in the morning, right? So Sapna becomes the seer, right? And then you see what is this? So Sapna becomes the subject, the seer. And then what happens is. When, as, how does Sapna Ji function during the daytime? Sapna uh, Ji or Sapna functions with objects. You look at it, look at yourself. Isn't that how you function? You go, um, you see, from one physical object to another physical object and that is how you are working. And when you look at it within yourself, you see, you are going from one thought which is connected to a feeling. So you go from one thought to another thought to another thought and you're going from one feeling to another feeling to another feeling throughout your awake state, right? And how this is happening? You see, this is happening by the process of seeing, you see? So can you see the triad of seer, you, and then seeing, the process of whatever you are actually observing and then the sight and the sights are multiple they are thoughts they are feelings they are physical objects and this is how the activity takes place you see as long as long as you live as an image which you cannot deny you see in this world of space and time this triad this principle of seer seeing and sight has to be there. Without this, we actually cannot function. Look at this very carefully. Go on to the dream state. You see, in the dream state as well, there is this dreamer. Now, this uh, lady, uh, beautiful lady Sapna has gone into dreams, the dream state. Now, there is a uh, entity, a subject called uh, uh, Sapna, the dreamer, right? And what is she doing? She's looking at dream objects. Isn't that what happens with you when you're in dreaming? Everything is within yourself. And there is this process of seeing happening. And you see the beauties, there are also dream thoughts and dream feelings. That's how you conjecture up all these visual images. So there again, you have the process of seer yourself, seeing, you know, uh, the dream seeing and then the sights, which are the objects. So seer, seen and sight. So there again, actually, you can see that you are functioning as the seer, seen and sight. So you see, uh, this is this uh, principle of uh, seer, seeing and sight which is right there through our uh, uh, space-time manifestation. But now, now I'm going to reveal to you something which is actually even deeper. So let us come to uh, the figure four. You see, look at this figure four very carefully. What is written at the top? It says, divine attention, the outer guru. You see, look at this. Look at it very carefully. You see, this is our higher nature. This is our changeless nature. You see, without the presence of attention, nothing can actually happen. You see, when you look at this uh, diagram, you see, look at the next small arrow which is there 
and look at those boxes in uh, blue and in uh, purple and look at those three words there which was which is the title of our uh, spiritual discussion seer seen and sight you see you know when you wake up in the morning look at it you see your attention goes to who you are you realize the body consciousness comes and you see that becomes the seer and then you see what happens is that that same attention actually uh, you see uh, here I've called it divine attention the outer guru because now this same attention now travels from that physical form if it travels within the attention travels to thoughts the attention travels to feelings and relative to the physical body the attention travels to physical objects isn't it but attention remains as it is you see you experiment with this as much uh, uh, as you want but you will find that attention never actually changes and then you see go go further into this you see only when the seer seen and sight when this triad is illuminated right by this uh, uh, divine attention or by this simple attention only then you see what we were actually talking about that is why i went into the detail of our day-to-day -day experience of awake dream and sleep you see uh, you go through these three states uh, you see your attention at the moment is drawn to these three states as I'm actually discussing so you see look at the hierarchy attention and then uh, seer seen and sight and then you see the cycle of awake dream and sleep now you see, seer, seeing and sight belongs to the lower nature, which is always changing. Awake, dream and sleep again belong to the lower nature because that is where you are experiencing uh, these three states here in the physical form. But attention, you see, this actually belongs to your higher nature because you experiment uh, as much as you want with what I'm explaining to you. You see, attention always remains the same all that attention is doing is it is connecting you to you see yourself the seer it is connecting you uh, to all these objects you know which are appearing in the view and it is also connecting that process of seeing you see this triad of seer seeing and sight is only functional you see due to the presence of uh, divine attention the outer guru okay so uh, now uh, we are uh, slowly coming uh, towards the uh, end of this uh, uh, spiritual discussion so where are we heading towards you see look at one thing simply for us to know about this attention right just a simple attention uh, you see uh, and it is this consciousness only which has actually changed into this uh, uh, divine attention or just uh, attention you see simply knowing about it simply reflecting upon it uh, you see uh, and if we reflect intuitively and observe its uh, presence you see it connects us to our real nature right it leads us to absolute happiness so this is what we uh, wanted to uh, discuss uh, you see that how basically we cannot function without the principle of seer seeing and sight which is right there you see uh, it is like the sea on which all the waves are appearing you see in our space time manifestation but when we go deeper into this you see when you go deeper into it what you realize is that neither is awake dream sleep possible neither is the seer seeing and sight the triad 
and not all the functions which are undertaken because of the uh, triad of seer, seeing and sight possible without the presence of divine attention. Right. So coming to the conclusion of uh, this uh, spiritual uh, discussion, uh, dear friends, dear brothers, dear sisters, uh, you see, all the, I'll give you a very simple exercise, right? You just sit down, just sit and relax, right? Now, all you have to do is bring your thinking, bring your feelings, right? Bring your uh, observation to just the presence of this divine attention, which is everywhere. You see, this divine attention is all around you. You see, look at it. Just this simple exercise, you see, uh, connects you to your real changeless nature. It ignites within you the feeling, the thoughts of something higher, something else present, which is so easy to access, which is there all the time and without which we cannot function as the seer, seeing and sight. You see, um, you know, it, it, it cannot, it cannot function. You know, you analyze it for yourself based on this uh, uh, spiritual discussion. So just this simple exercise connects you to your changeless higher nature, connects you to that state of what we call as unconditional absolute happiness, a state of happiness which is not determined, uh, you see, by our liking and disliking for thoughts, for feelings, and for physical objects. So uh, with this, uh, I will bring this uh, spiritual discussion uh, to a close and I do hope uh, that uh, this has actually helped you, uh, you know, uh, to go further in your spiritual journey and in the next uh, uh, special video again, we will look uh, further and uh, deeper into this uh, uh, divine attention. Uh, so with that, uh, once again, from the core of my uh, spiritual heart, uh, you see, uh, from the core of my spiritual heart, uh, uh, I really thank Thank you uh, for having given your very precious time. Of course, everyone is actually busy. But once again, thank you very much for having given your precious time to have listened uh, uh, to this uh, uh, spiritual discussion, uh, this video of uh, seer, seen and uh, sight, you know, the triad and uh, hope that it will help you in your uh, spiritual journey. Once again, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Hari Om. Uh, bye bye uh, Namaskar Thank you